Well, isn't this just a surprising turn of events? Rocker Nation, what is going on, guys? Welcome to the RIOB here at youtube.com slash rocketoutblog and our One Take Wednesday episode. Now, I was going to kick off today's episode by telling you guys about the, uh, the new Stroke single, Undercover of Darkness, finally made its way to the internet today, and you can download it. But just before I started filming, a story came across the internet that uh, I think is a bit more relevant considering that we are kids of the internet age. So, um, without further ado, let's kick off the show by uh, doing the transition music first and foremost. Alright, guys, Guitar Hero, as you know it, is officially dead. Yes, it was just uh, recently reported, guys. I actually just put the story up at rocketoutblog.com. Link is down there in the D-Bar. Activision, the makers of Guitar Hero, have decided to officially pull the plug on the game franchise, which means there will be no more Guitar Hero games coming out anytime soon. The official statement from Activision uh, says the following, it says they, uh, they disbanded the Guitar Hero business unit and stopped working on the new Guitar Hero game for 2011. They have no more plans to make any more Guitar Hero games anytime soon due to the fact that Guitar Hero has been selling poorly over the years and there have been a lot of, uh, a lot of layoffs at the, uh, at the company uh, that makes Guitar Hero and also DJ Hero. So the future of DJ Hero uh, is kind of uncertain as well. No one knows if that franchise is going to stick around for uh, any longer or whatever. And then and for that matter, the whole genre of music gaming, you know, rock band and guitar hero, that might just be completely in jeopardy now too, considering that it's not, I don't know, it's just not as popular as it used to be. They're still fun to play, but they're not as popular anymore, and considering that, you know, with the economy, the recession, times are tough, people aren't going to spend 60 to $80 on a gaming system, and then on top of that, you have to buy the new guitar, and then the drum set, and the bass, and the keyboard, too much to buy. So, uh, Guitar Hero, officially dead. You can mark the day, February 9, 2011, guys. So uh, there you go. You can bow your heads for a second. Take a moment of silence for Guitar Hero. Okay, that's enough. Moving on, Gabe. All right, now to the story that was supposed to be the headline for this episode. New Stroke single, Undercover of Darkness. Link is down there in the D-Bar. You can check it out at rocketoutblog.com. You guys can also head to the Stroke's official website to download it for absolutely free. That free download will only last for 48 hours, AKA up until February 11th, when the single is released on iTunes and on radio stations uh, all over the world. And uh, the new album from uh, the Strokes, Angle, is gonna be in stores on March 22nd. So uh, head down there, check out the single, let me know what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Sub rock word for the day. Do you like the new Stroke single? Let us know. Up next, Gabe. All right. A bunch of you guys have been asking me about stuff regarding System of a Down. You guys have been like, dude, tell us some more stuff about System of a Down. Well, nothing was really happening, but I can give you this little nugget of information. Recently, Shavo Odajian, uh, he tweeted that the band had just completed their very first rehearsal in five years. He said it was amazing and that he loves the band. And as you guys know, System of a Down playing this summer uh, throughout Europe. No North American shows have been announced as of yet. Hopefully that'll change in the near future and they will play the United States and Canada. So be on the lookout for that. But System of a Down, first rehearsal in five years. I, it's not much, but it's something to hopefully appease or whet your System of a Down appetite. Um, so there you go. Enjoy that for what it's worth, I suppose. It's like an appetizer. I don't know what I'm talking about. Transition music game! All right, last but not least, guys, the Rolling Stones are releasing yet another box set. This time it's a singles box set called the Rolling Stones Single Box Set 1971 to 2006. 45 singles will be released uh, in that box set along with over 80 other tracks that have never been heard before. They were either uh, live tracks, rarities, outtakes, uh, alternate takes of, uh, of the singles. So it's going to be a giant box set coming out in April and you guys should also know that on Record Store Day, April 16, mark that date on your calendar if you have not done so yet guys. April 16, Record Store Day, Rolling Stones will be releasing a limited edition 7 inch vinyl of their single, Brown Sugar. Classic song, classic single. So record Record Store Day, pick that one up, and then the uh, the box set will be in stores, uh, I believe, on April 18th in the U.S. and I think April 11th in uh, in the U.K. Don't quote me on that. Link is down there in the D bar if you want for more information on that story. So there you go. And um, that's all we got to report for today's uh, episode of the RIOB, guys. So uh, what do you think about the uh, the demise of Guitar Hero? Guitar Hero is dead. Long live Guitar Hero. It's gone, guys. Forever. Not coming back anytime soon, at least not on a, on a video game platform. It may come back in like a social networking or online gaming kind of, uh, kind of platform, but uh, Guitar Hero officially dead. Your thoughts 
Um, Guitar Hero, text or video response, whichever you prefer. What do you think of the death of Guitar Hero, man? Is it uh, does it sadden you? Is it is it past due? Um, uh, do you have any fond memories of you playing Guitar Hero? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below, or as video response, the death of Guitar Hero. Sad day for gamers everywhere. And there you go, guys. That's it for today's episode of the RILB. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, for subscribing. We inch closer and closer to 27,000 subscribers. Guys, I believe we're less than 35 subscribers away from 27,000, so let's try to hit that mark as soon as possible. Follow us at twitter.com slash rocketoutblog. Like our Facebook page, and if you have not done so yet, guys, vote for the Rocket Out blog. We've been nominated for a bloggy for best music blog of 2011. Link is down there in the D-bar so that you guys can go vote. We are up against a bunch of uh, sites like Pitchfork, The Recommender, uh, your band, uh, your band's name. I forget the name of the site, unfortunately. I apologize. But we're up against a bunch of uh, websites, and we'd like to beat them. So go vote for us. And uh, yeah, that would be amazing if you did that. We'll be back tomorrow, guys. We're all done for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back manana with an all-new episode of the RIOB. So until then, rock horns up. You know what to do. Actually, what are you going to do with that plastic guitar now that Guitar Hero doesn't exist anymore? Hmm. Rock it out.